Alright, hey, hey howdy, hey, it's been a minute, it's been a few minutes, quite a few minutes, sorry about that, um, kind of didn't even want to stream today, but I'm forcing myself with new, with new cool things, such as starting a new LP, so that I get that kick in the pants that I need. Also, you weren't the first. Get fucked, Sophie. Anyways, thanks for kicking that motherfucker in your Discord. What a prick. Uh, maybe don't make those rolls pingable? That's, that's what I'm gonna say? No, don't an hero. you don't need to do that. Tank, you're the ghost girl. Your family. Anyways. So, tonight we have probably one of my favorite survival horror games ever made. But, and hear me out. Hear me out. Is a little fucked up. This game's a little fucked up. If you can't take bare minimum stabbing monster children with a fork, this might not be the LP for you, and that's okay. This LP is not going to be for everyone. There's also some uncomfortable sexual things, but I don't think that's gonna. I don't think that's gonna happen. First stream. Anyways, um, can I get a shh? I think you just got it. Also, let's just cut the cut the lights there. Um Silent Hill 1 had you bludgeoning children with a pipe. Uh So here's the thing. Silent Hill 1 and Rule of Rose uh big difference. Big difference. Pitches. Hello. Hello. Is this your first time seeing my model move around and shit? I think this might be. Either way, um... Yo, can I get a fucking... Whoop? Wait, no. Whoop? There we go. And let's move on to this screen. You've seen some hay shit in your day, but the sex stuff might be a bit much. Uh... There- okay, I will say this now. There's no rape. That's what I'm outright gonna say. And I'm sorry to just throw the word out, but... Like, that's not in. Hold on. Um, brain, sorry, I saw something, and that took me, that took me off the, or knocked me off balance. Uh, Clock Tower is a good one. Hold on, let me, let me read, because I actually had to check something. <laughs> Children should always be in danger, smacked by weaponry, and then be, they become horrible mutants. Uh, the difference between is that Konami was too busy to keep the children in the Euro Japanese version and then punchline stuck to their guns. You're not wrong. Um, you think the most fucked up game you ever played was Clock Tower for SNES? Ooh, that one's up there. That one's good. What the fuck? Why isn't. Hold on. Really? That's weird. Okay, I guess we're not using the gamepad. Uh. Ain't no game could tap that one. It's up there. Uh, even me catch up on stream saying you're here for a game we both really love. I do. I do. I'm gonna be real. I really want to play uh, fucking original Clock Tower. Legit. Like, but the the native PC port, it works, and it has an English patch that you can get off of uh, my abandonware. But there's a problem in that, um, I don't know how to make that game full screen. And it's, and it'll bother me if, I, if I'm if i playing a horror game in Windowed. Uh, th that is a me thing, for the record. Um, you'll admit you don't remember a lot of Rule of Rose, so you think this is gonna... 
This is gonna jab blue some very old memories. Oh yeah, this is one of my. Well, this is one of Bedlam's first big horror games, and one she's eternally mad that she doesn't have a copy of officially anymore. I mean, what? This is being recorded on official PlayStation Two with my Elgato uh, Game Capture HD that is in my figure cabinet because I intend to sell it. Um. I have not seen Phenomena. At all. I have not. Alright, where is my capture software? Okay, where did I put it? I put it in Steam and now I can't find it. There we go. Ooh, Ooh that's... Oh no! Official PS2! Official PS2. Official, totally legit copy that I own myself. Yes. A chimp wields a straight razor and fights a little person. Yo, that sounds raw. Art, characters, storylines, as depicted in this game, are purely a work of fiction. Yes. Daria Argento. Oh, yeah, okay. That's a name I know. That's a name I know. Or at least I think I know. All right. Holy shit, that number is a big number. Y'all are excited for spooky season. Published by Atlas, owned by Onion Games nowadays, by the way. Uh, fucking don't harass Onion Games, but every time they release a poll, uh, vote for Rule of Rose, because they, they own it and will let you remember that they own it. Anyways, let me know if the audio is at all fucky. Cause there might be, there might be some foibles. Back before Gemini got around to making that classic rebirth patch for RE3, there was a restoration patch mod which had two options, run in window mode or an ugly stretched full screen. Oh yeah, uh, FMVs might be a little stretched. That's a warning. Um, cause I don't know if this game actually supports 16x9 officially. Officially. Uh, the actual 16x9 in-game looks fine. Cause the PS2 did support widescreen, just not very well, all the time. Hey, where are it's my shame, Ooh. when I call Ooh, your name. I love that. Ooh, I love how this sounds. So please, don't set me free. This I'm intro is already making I the brain be. do the good chemicals. I will do you I will the good chemicals from heart. the sounds. I'm a big but yeah, um, I'm hoping that nothing is too child. bad, too terrible. I also, uh, I found out there. with my setup, I, I can actually do face there. capture in the dark. I Are we gonna get copy striked? Uh, that's why I'm talking. That's why I'm talking as much as I can, and really just hoping no. And, uh, the answer is probably no, actually. It'll probably get muted wor at worse. Um, yeah, puppy! Oh, yeah, there is some animal violence in this. Uh... Just a little. But it starts strong. Uh, it's not Yomawari levels. A dog doesn't get run over in the first five minutes. Um, not the puppy. Don't worry about the puppy. There's a there's a new dog. Whole game, new dog. Rest in peace, dog. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think this is the first game that I've played on stream that's actually been banned in a couple countries, too. Ow, 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 ow. This game is disturbingly British. Yeah, this game isn't about anything like hierarchy or, uh, or how, or how your stature... No, it's it's about um, how British children are fucked up and should be stabbed with forks. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. That's a 
really good dog, like, mocap-wise. That's a really good dog. Get a look. This game actually has a really cool feature about having a dog as a companion that I really like, and it's and it actually surrounds that gun. What is more horrific than Britain? England. Downtown Abbey fucked up. That's just Downtown Abbey. God damn it, Downtown Abbey, go fuck yourself, Dad. This is where 80% or 45% of the budget went. Why did I say 80? Turf Island, correct. Also, shout out to that revolver for not misfiring. Yeah, so when I say weird sexual shit, I mean like scenes like this where it looks sexual but is like symbolic more than outright gratuitous. Red crayon, just for you. You need to remember the password to your out of context account. That's fair, that's fair, that's completely fine. Uh. So, Pitches, could you actually do me a favor with the out of context account and, like. Don't delete it, but could you wipe its content, maybe? Something about it. Something about most of its content being, um... This shit kinda cute, maybe looks cool. She's 19, it's okay. Um... My name is Joshua. But the fact that it's, that it's mostly, princess. like, pre-VTuber content... Just is a little, me. eh. She's older than you, damn right. Little baby. Little baby. Little baby girl. Wait, no, not baby girl like that. Not baby girl like baby girl. But baby girl. I forgot how long this intro was. This isn't even in the intro. This is just like the, the sizzle reel before the game starts proper. You'll do that once you get access to it? That's cool. That's good. That's all fine. <laughs> Either way, that's the starting FMV of Rural Bros. I actually need... I am a fool. I need to fix something in the background. Because I need to actually... Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Let's actually, uh... Let's actually go to the options menu so that we don't get flung in. Uh, because there are a few things I want to show off. But first, we need to actually give thanks to a couple people. We need to give thanks to a couple people. It's been a while, so I'm not completely, like... Since it's been a second, I'm not used to streaming yet. Uh, recent events. We have to thank... Demoter Dark Moon, Stratus Wind. Whoop! There we go. VTuber Kai. Uh, it's Mosey. And uh, it says Heater, but I think they actually renamed their account recently. So let me actually get the real account name. British children be like, what bugger gonna kill you dead and swear on my mom? Gonna stab you in the head, bleach right to fuck? The fuck does Kuno care? Um, anyways. Where is the thing? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, Friday the 30th. But, used to be. Heater. There we go. I might actually do a Kuno for- I might just have a redeem that is like, 
in that like it's 10k and it's called embody id and i just do a kuno voice and speak in the third person that'd be a dumb idea but i should do it the fuck does bedlam care anyways english children when they take a spanish class oh dear uh two seconds and we're back. Oh shit, no we're not. No we're not. Because there is actually a thing. I'm sorry, I'm silly. Because there is a new thing that I do want to promote as a non-required thing. But uh, there's a new... <laughs> sorry, I saw chat for a second. Um, there's a new thing, and sorry for your guys' eyes. That is, uh, I have an actual proper wish list now. It's a landing page. Um, it's largely the same shit as my Amazon wish list used to be, but, um, but it doesn't use Amazon. Either way. Uh, I'll just throw that in there. Uh, and there's actually, if you'll give me two seconds, I even set up a stream alert just for it, so that when people actually use it, uh, set up alerts, test streamlabs, hello, hello, oh dear, yeah, so <laughs> it'll you. show Hey, someone just bought a thing off the wish list. Never feel pressured, but if you can, if you want, it's there. Either way, let us... So I would actually like to turn down the volume a little bit, turn up the contrast, and make the filter a little less aggressive. Because as much as I love this game, the filter is a little aggressive. Buy me the Quest 2, you sluts? Yes! Because that's content. If I were to get a Quest 2, hear me out. VR chat streams and VR games open Once up. Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl. A friend, the princess, the princess of, of the, the red, red rose, rose, was always at her side. Gonna, I'm gonna try to be quiet for most of these actual like then talking cutscenes. Her mummy and Feel daddy died. Silent Hill games. You've never really been a and fan the of the film girl. grain implementation. And you always turn them off. Uh, it's not about not being a fan. It's just like this game. It's it's default is a little intense for my liking. In Silent Hill, I don't mind it quite as much. Yeah, old TV, they were perfectly fine. Jennifer, Jennifer, play with me, Jennifer. Read the story. Please, read the story. What happens next? I fucking hate it when little British children tell me to read, because, like, bitch, I can't read this. I can't read full What's stop. This? You might hear pill noises two seconds. Where are you going? Alright, kid, I'm gonna read the fucking story without you. Sorry, ch small child. I don't speak British. March 1930. The Little Princess. <laughs> British kids be like, oh, I can't read this pamphlet about chromosomes, but don't have cuisine. 
God damn it. The Little Princess. Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl. Her friend, the Princess of the Red Rose, was always at her side. Then one day, her mummy and daddy died suddenly. The princess, too, disappeared, leaving the girl all alone. And the poor little girl was sent away to a strange house. Alright, so how's everything sounding? How's everything looking? Suddenly, the girl was all alone. And so, the story begins. A mysterious, unthinkable, filthy tale. However, the young girl, Jennifer, had no choice but to surrender to the unsettling predicament. Oh, what an unlucky girl. Alright, let's see. Bus stop, Rose Garden Orphanage. What is over here? As far as I'm aware, there is not. So... It looks like Bonnie Visek, the bu Okay. I thought for a second you you were going to say this looks like the book, Binding of Isaac, because my brain read your sentence backwards. Strange Hill. For a PS2 game, having this much, like, having this much, like, so we don't have a sprint, but we do have little girl punches. Little girl slaps. Get the old swear on me, mum. Punch the shit out of British kids. Whoop. As the girl approached the sign, she heard a dog's bark. It sounded strangely familiar to her and beckoned her to come. Like, I I know that the... that these are all, like, just textures and trees were made like that. Let's be real. There's an old padlock on the door. However, it is not locked. Uh... But, oh, brain. Brain is shorting out. I don't know why, but brain is shorting out. I think it's because I just took painkillers and my, and my body is trying to, trying to adjust. About saving. You can save your progress by talking to the Bucket Knights located throughout the game. Save your game? Goddamn right. All right. Don't for, wait, don't format? No, I meant to format. Don't worry about that. That happens in this uh, capture device. It's just, it's just looking very carefully. Anyways, don't worry about that, babe. Look, this game is like three hundred dollars. Don't kill me. A dog collar with a piece of paper tied to it. It's a slip. Of, it's a slip of paper with boarding pass and a picture of a fish on it. Jennifer found the boarding pass. Dog, Br the name Brown is on the dog collar. <laughs> Fucking English children. Making weird laughs and dog noises. Next they're going to be dressing in animal ears and beating me with sticks. Uh, but like, I know out here like, all the foliage is like 2D textures that are just carefully placed, but that's still, like, that's impressive. It's a rusted well. Cool air flows from inside it. Oh, we read cool air on stream. Uh, it, I don't trust like that. British children be like, I love berries and cream, and I used to own half the world. You missed me? How's it going? It's alright. It's doing alright. Again, sorry for not streaming very much, but... You know how the brain is. It's a fickle mistress. You remember that stream? Look, it was a different time. I, to my credit, I wanted to read Lovecraft stories. 
I control F to find very specific words to make sure it was not the stories I was thinking. Because I did not have to walk around, uh, not Garfield. Oh, that's a sound. That's a sound, all right. Following the boy up the road. She came upon a house, or a huge old mansion. For some reason, this place seems familiar to the unlucky girl. Fucks me up that there's no sprint to this. I mean, like, I'll. If this game is sacrificing a sprint button for, uh. Um. If this game sacrifices a sprint button. Those are heads. No, stop that. You evil, evil children. Um. I know, I remember the one dude who just posted ad and, and you sweat buckets. Okay, so I asked my friends who could speak Portuguese what that actually meant. Because it wasn't just N, it was N with, like, the until day. No one was... No one allowed without a pass. About using items. At certain locations, you can use items to interact with your surroundings. From the main menu, cho choose an item and select to use. Uh, and I had to ask around... Uh, it wasn't nefarious, but it was also, like, very unclear what he was trying to get across. I think he was trying to ask if I spoke Espanol, which I do not. I only speak English. Well, a little bit of Japanese. Not enough for it to work. Having an interpreter is, uh, useful. Where'd my phone go? Hold on. Whoop. Whoop. What is that? Legend of Stray Dog. Stray Dog gives us sweets. Oh, that's why that scene coming up. Oh, fuck. You ever play a game for most of your life, off and on? And you realize what... Why a scene you were very unclear on happened? Oh no. Yeah, um... Give it a bit. Alright, I don't... If I recall correctly, this mansion doesn't have anything to happen. Entrance this way. Uh, this mansion doesn't have anything until you actually start the plot. Berries and sour cream? That sounds good, actually. <laughs> Alright, I put... I put vibration on. Whoops. Silly me. Every once in a while. Whoop. Again, nothing's too quiet, is it? Whoop. Yeah, so as far as I recall, the unlucky girl felt the chilling gaze of many eyes upon her. Yet, she was all alone. Uh, we just have to follow that kid. Although this mansion has a shitload of rooms that have, like, no purpose except for making you believe that this is a mansion. Which I kind of respect. <laughs> These Village of the Damned hell spawn pretty much. Foul-smelling laundry baskets have been placed on the shelves. Er, what's that trauma film with all the feral children? Because it reminds me more of that than Village of the Damned. Oh dear. 
Sally Acorn Love Doll, what are you doing here? There's a creepy doll tied to the pillar. <laughs> Beware of children at play. Yeah! Yeah, that one! That's a fucking pole. Jennifer found old photo. It's a faded group photo taken in front of the mansion. Like that's one of those movies that it's like even with the even with the people where they kill all the kids, they use like UA bowl levels of like I think it was the postal movie where there's a scene where just a bunch of kids get shot up for for no real reason. Except for it's the postal movie, who cares? <laughs> And it's like the worst children getting shot scene. Which it's like Beware Children at Play, Postal, and I think Hobo with a shotgun are all are the only movies I can think where it's like little kids get fucking murked. Uh actually no, there was a John Carpenter one where a kid just gets shot in the chest too. Uh, I'm blanking on the name. Ooh, that's an open book. Is that anything? It is not. So this is the fun part. Hobo with a shotgun, they burn a school bus. Okay. So, assault on Precinct 13. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should have remembered that. I was straight up watching the Red Letter Media on John Carpenter movies yesterday. Because <laughs> they, uh, they were ranking his filmography on like, uh, on like, hey, here's Mike and Jay doing their best to worst on John Carpenter. Yeah, well, it's like this fucking, like, gangster pulls out a C9 and just shoots a kid in the chest because she wants a specific kind of ice cream. Uh, she's on The Real Housewives now. Um, that's... That's the only factoid I got. <laughs> John Carpenter, when he finds out children are real. Oh, God. Oh, no. He just wants to live his life. He, John Carpenter, I respect him. He is a cynic who wants to live the rest of his life. Playing video games <laughs> and cashing checks. It's that's all he wants. Oop. Scalpel, dental forceps, gloves, scissors. There's blood all over him. John Carpenter, cash. No uh, turns out the new PC port of. Uh, Fatal Frame made in Blackwater is apparently really shitty. Oh, I believe it. It's a fucking... Whoop. No, there's a glowy. I mean, glowing object. Jennifer found orphanage map. There we go. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um. Whoop. John Carpenter is very bitter about his career. I respect the mild cynicism, though that he displays in almost every interview, because he's like, every time? Dudes are favorite now, but most of his films weren't successful in their time. Yeah. I get being better about that. Whoop! Shit! My, aren't you a slowpoke, like always. Here, read me the rest of the story. You know, the book I handed you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, that's the map button. This game's FPS cap is at my refresh rate, so it'll run based on that. Uh, but, like, the game speed is tied to 60, so if you have a 165 hertz monitor, you would run triple the speed, making it unplayable. Oh, God. That's awful. All right, let's use the book. And the poor little girl was sent away to a strange house. 
at her new home, the aristocrat club lived by the rule of Rose. But the girl her found herself very much alone. We will now begin the funeral. All those attending, please gather around at this time. So this still freaks the shit out of me a little bit. There's something about children being weird. Come on, Jennifer. The funeral is about to begin. It's like, it is just my brain doesn't like children being terrible. It's the funeral for your dear friend. <laughs> NBC. What's NBC? What's up? Before she realized it, the boy was gone. And the girl was left in confusion. <laughs> Woo shit! The tones. I'm not aware of what's going on. What's up? So, just, uh, just a heads up. If I recall correctly, this is the only outright explicit scene of, uh, of animal violence. Coming up. Is a little fucked up, but it's also quick-ish. It's that sort of horror game. Whoop. Oh right, this is why they make the mansion all big and shit, so that when you actually have to leave it, you have to remember where you went. This is a very pretty mansion. Better than the Silent Hill 2 mansion. Uh, from uh, Born From A Wish. When the girl went out to the yard, she found a shovel standing before a grave. The unlucky girl sensed that something very dear to her was buried here. As if possessed, she began to dig furiously. Born for a Wish looks great, though. You will slap me. Okay, Born for a Wish is good. The, the mansion is kind of whatever. <laughs> Sophie, out of curiosity, did you have to ban someone with a CJ profile pick? <gasps> no. Just Noted. Look at you. You're filthy. <laughs> they had a front. No, someone's being a fuck in the Silent Hill Discord. So yeah, something about this scene, it's just like, it's senselessly cruel in the way that children just kind of are. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on our flight. Attention all passengers, we will be taking off in a short while. Please take all large luggage to section 8 of the freight storage compartment. Thank you. Yeah, so this scene fucked up a very young bedlam. A very young bedlam. It is... Young bedlam did not like this. At all. At all. Also, I guess we missed the scene where they beat the shit out of a bag that's making dog noises? Because I remember that being here. 
I think it's actually missable. Now that I think about it. Would I like to say- Would I? Official PlayStation 2. Don't worry about that, babe. April 1930. The unlucky Cloverfield. So are they taking the coffin elsewhere? They are. That they are. They've taken it here. And done what they must. God, like, this is up there with, like, Silent Hill 3 for, like, how good this looked. Bedlam happened to own an official physical copy of the... No, that's... That's fine. That's... The sex dungeon from the Poughkeepsie tapes? Not quite. When the girl awoke, she found herself in a strange room. It was a cold, lonely, stinky room. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. I think just struggle. Good morning, Jennifer. Oh, shit. How do you feel? Let's have a little chat, shall we? But no, don't worry. Yeah, sure, let's chat. Hmm. I'm Good not girl. fucking happy here. Don't you dare pull that Jennifer, shit. You know you've been a You're bad, like bad 17 girl. years my junior or some shit. Punished, don't they? Surprised by how this... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, in my perspective, they tend You're to. You're a brave girl. Anyway, I'll be the one giving the orders around here, okay? Oh, the NBC tones is in the doo doo doo, right? Hmm. Yeah, Never okay. Girl. Those are being used, yes. Now, I'm going to give you your first order. Okay. Every month, you need to find a gift. And bring it to the aristocrats. You gotta get up early for school. Oh dear. I'll tell you. Is there anything about this that you don't understand? No. No. No, I understand hmm. everything quite clearly. Oh, You're gonna well, fucking kill it me. It doesn't really matter what you say. You see, Jennifer, there are really only two kinds of people in the world: living ones and dead those ones. Those who take orders and those who give them. I, and I suppose on, that too. I'll be giving Orders. Not fair? Well, dear Jennifer, nothing's fair here. <laughs> you will follow my orders or else. <laughs> For I am the will you, prince will and Will you the bare minimum rule. take these restraints off me? Because I can't get what you need this if I don't get your up. your life, but you'll play by my rules. <laughs> oh. Let the games begin. Dear this binary Jennifer. thinking baby. <laughs> Good night, Sophie. <laughs> Look at that child looking through a hole. A hole of what though? Also, look at this nightmare. This nightmare scissors. And so, the rope was cut, snip snip, as the, and the girl joined the aristocrat club. Congratulations. Congratulations. Can we actually get those scissors? Can we please? Please? The scissors are just out of her reach. There's a big wooden box covered with dirt and grass. There's a sack inside it covered in animal hair. The aristocrat. Yes. This game is all about the aristocrats and aristocratic society. As the girl examined the headless scarecrow, it pleaded, Lass, please help me find my head. Once I am whole again, I'll return the favor. Alright. 
Foul-smelling laundry baskets sit on the shelf. Dirty clothes are stuffed inside them. Trash can? As the girl looked at the rubbish bin, it spoke to her. My belly is as dark as the night and as deep as the abyss. Anything in this world that has dropped will be collected inside it. About stocking items. Any item you collect can be stored in this rubbish bin. If you can't find the bin, you must select an item from the menu screen, select drop, and the item will be stored here. There's no need to worry about losing it. Stock an item? No thank you, I don't think we need to. Is that a piss bucket? When the girl examined the bucket, it pleaded, Lass, please put me atop my body! Back on the top of the headless scarecrow behind you. If you'll do, I'll help you in return. Guy walks into a town agent's office and says, Have I got an act for you? That's how it be, though. Alright. As the girl placed the bucket in its proper place, it spoke. I am the Bucket Knight, Keeper of Promises. Yet, time can be cruel, for I have aged and cannot remember the past. You know what I refer to, and you know what you know, and I know what you know. However, you do not know at the moment, nor can you remember. Let us recall our memories together in order to remember our promise. Story hints. So yeah, basically, when we don't know what the fuck to do, ask the old bucket knight. He'll also still let us save. Don't worry. I know what I know, boy, but I'm not telling it. Okay. So Les walk the fuck out. Also, I really like how, uh... So, like Resident Evil, it actually has, like, the re like the fucking door opening animations, which... That's something, like, I love Silent Hill a lot more than I love Resident Evil, at least in their classic eras, but, like... I really miss the door animations. Woo! And this game has door animations. I mean, I like it a lot more on that aspect, bare minimum. Can we... Ooh? The Aristocrat Club. Sector 8 Stairway. You are invited to the Aristocrat Club. Red Crayon Aristocrats. God, I love the atmosphere of this game. Just the sound is perfect. Everything's just vaguely perfect. Social club rank, define class. Duchess Diana. Countess Eleanor. Baroness Meg. Lower class. Poor Amanda. Beggar Jennifer. The Red Crayon Society. Red Rose Princess, Bear Prince. Duchess, Countess, Baroness. Bourgeoisie, Poor, Beggar. So we got a kill list. Okay, you joke, but you may or may not be having the right idea. The fact that you can just open a door, try to open a door, and a kid will just start giggling at you. Who's joking? In Minecraft, looking through the window, the unlucky girl saw a shape through the clouds. The airship slowly swam through the sky, carrying the... Okay, I need to read those faster. 
Oh no, May, I agree. Just in Minecraft. There are wear marks on this wall. Are there tear marks? Or are they just wear marks? Ah, shit. Whoop. Alright, I can see why there's minor camera nightmares that I was warned about. Uh, by Varg. The rule of gifts. Find a gift for the month. All members must participate. Tardiness, stealing, and cheating are prohibited. Junk, toys, and more. No refunds, only exchange. Red crayon, aristocrat. Speed reading, comprehension, speed run. Ooh boy, don't, don't ah. start me on that. Yeah, little fucking kid. Is just like, no, nah, you ain't welcome here. This door is open, it will be open eventually. But I'm reading my porno. So stop. Anyways. Which way do we actually come in? Yeah, okay. So we can't go to the salon. I don't think we went forward. No, we did not. We did not. Well, I got them. The girl has found... The girl has found a strange door. But where does it lead? Is the kid Schrodinger? He's fucking everywhere. It's what the paper bags are for. Okay, uh... Let's read the poster first. This month's gift, a beautiful butterfly, one per person. Check the box. Has anyone else gotten one? Strange boxes attached to the door. Things can be placed inside it. All right. Open the door. Thought so. Make an offering. All right. So we'll have to back up from here. As the unlucky girl stood helplessly, the door spoke. Give me a beautiful butterfly, one per person. Is that clear? No gift, no entry. Is that clear? Give me a butterfly. Give me a butterfly. Find one, and you shall be invited to join the aristocrat club. Do, 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 do. Little kids trying to be, trying to be sneaky. Towards the library, perhaps? Oh, shit! Do, you want your king butterfly? Okay, we've learned what we'll learn there. Is this gonna be the same story? No, the kids are gone. Probably off to get their butterflies. Well, don't look in that. By the way, that's not a uh, foible of this capture device. That's actually just how the game's presented. It was very low budget. No. Oh. Like, there's some weird things on this game's presentation that straight up just exist because low budget. Low budget survival horror game on the PS2. I want to say when the 360 and PS3 already were out. The unlucky girl met Hoffman, the strict teacher. When Hoffman caught Jennifer looking at him, he snapped at her. Dirty rich. Why are you always shirking your duties? Oh. The unlucky girl met Clara, the frightened princess. As the princess looked down, she spoke to the girl with a feeble voice. How dirty. Oh. 
What about the, the, these stained sheets? Got anything about that? We do not. Really like this fucking violin track. Wanna say that's violin. Could be cello. I'm not a thousand percent well versed in my string instruments that require a weird knife to operate. Motherfucker well, looks like he snores like. Su, su, su. That he does. It's a drawing of a large flying fish. There's also a cute picture of children playing happily together. <laughs> Bleach those sheets. I would. I would. A drawing of a rabbit. You get the impression that it means a lot to its owner. What does that say? I like that when I lean in, you can actually, like... Okay. I like that when I lean in, you can actually see my model, like, lower. Probably because I'm actually, like, leaning the fuck in. That... That, uh, that rabbit picture reminds me of, uh, it's a fucking picture in Silent Hill 1, uh, in the, in the school, where there's just a drawing, a really shitty drawing of a wolf, and it just says wolf in, like, children handwriting. It's weird. Uh, I think it actually comes back for Silent Hill 3, if I recall correctly. Oh, little fucking kid. He's he's like no, but I'm a nosy little fucker. I'll get to it eventually. Eventually, one day. Do 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 do. Dressing room. Anything in here? Well, more than what was there before. Oh. Oh. We have one of these. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't... So now that I'm actually, like, here, um, I would actually like to throw the orphanage map down. Uh, we... But that's the only thing I need. We stick this out, slam the door on us. He's a little child. He will die. It will work. Alright. Let us save. As far as I know, this game doesn't do the, uh, this game doesn't do the fucking, what's it called? Like, I can rotate the saves. You know how it is. It pleases the goblins. Can we actually look at that picture? It looks... It's not what I thought it was, but that might be a Jesus. I think that might be a Jesus. I have it on good authority that it may or may not be a Jesus. Okay, so that door just doesn't open. I'm gonna be endlessly curious about this door. Not necessarily you got your head in a car door when you were nine. Shit hurt, but you lived. Yeah, but was it with all the power of a 19 year old girl who moves like this when she's stanced up and hits like that? For the record, this is one of those survival horror games where, like, you are not, you are not meant to fight if you can help it. So it's a classic-ass survival horror. Your brain don't think no good, though? Oh, so like how I suffered heat stroke a handful of years back, and, like, no one... No one would be able to tell that there's any difference, but now I pause a lot more often and word salad a lot more often because I got heat stroke. There was a... S Didn't they want a red butterfly? Ooh, there she goes. I'm just gonna fucking run that kid over with my feet. Just like... Bowl her the fuck over. She's a survival horror protagonist. A swift wind could take her. That's true. Also, welcome back, Orion. Do your brains work like that? Because you're pretty sure your brain works like 30% slower than five years ago. Uh, heat stroke specifically melts your brain. If it's an actual, like, heat stroke. Just 
Sector 9 turbine area. There's our dog. Which... Oh, God. I hate that. I hate that a lot. We need that scissors. Or those scissors. <laughs> that scissors. Wow. You were too hot for your own good? Then bam. Aw. You'd think. But I was just in a really hot truck when it was 90 degrees out. Fahrenheit, not Celsius. Oh god, not Celsius. Okay, I don't think there's anything in here. Oop, nothing special here. But it's enough to warrant and inspect. Brains are sensitive equipment, brain damage is permanent. That it is. Part of me wonders offhand, like, what science would go behind reversing brain damage. Let's actually investigate the dog first. Uh, just to, to make sure, just in case it's one of those games where the objective counts once you see the objective. Brain doctors need to get their shit together. The dog is all alone. Tied up and hung from the ceiling. With no means to cut the ropes and free him, the unlucky girl could only stand and watch the poor creature struggle. Okay, so we know where... We know exactly where the scissors are, except I don't know where that is. But it's where I started. same science and reversing Alzheimer's. I mean, we should be researching ways to stop that, because, like, that's fucked up. It's not a lot, but, uh, and you can ignore it, but you'd love to just pop a hole in and let your head deflate. I would, too. It'd be kind of cool. The pig is busy eating. It reeks badly. Names are written on the cage. Harry and Sally. Two little goats are shivering inside. Wait, does anyone feel like there's a pressure in their head at all times? Not at all times, no. I get very I get very common headaches, though. Animal feet is scattered everywhere, rotting away. Granted, I know what that could be. Because there's a very high likelihood that it is dehydration. Seems like it hasn't been used in a long time. Empty cages are stacked up. Heavy stench of animals fills the air. The unlucky girl met Wendy, the lonely princess. The princess saw that the girl was confused, so she smiled gently and said, <coughs> You're the new girl, aren't you? Yeah, maybe. Maybe a I'm little. I'm Wendy. Mm -hmm. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <coughs> How dare chat be nice and considerate and being like, yo, you might want to get that checked out. How dare. Okay. Oop. This is what you're saying. When he has the black lung from working in the mines. Nah. Don't worry about it. It reads electric panel. Oh, what? Okay, that is so tempting to just. Shoo, to just, like, hit the lever on that. I'm not a gambling addict. But hitting levers at random sounds fun. Oh? The unlucky girl met Diana, the strong willed princess. As she gathered her courage to speak to the princess, the princess cursed. She's such a pain. Oh. What? Oh. Drink of the water? I can do that. Give me two seconds. I was gonna say, because it said new girl, and I actually wanted to inspect that. But give me two seconds, I can drink your water. I can drink your water. You will suffer. Open wide. I'll drink you like a water bottle, and then do that to your body. 
I'm not a vampire, but bloodletting, it's a little hot. Uh, is there anything around here? No. Do, 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 do. Oh, fuck, that's my spine. Oh, someone giving birth? In the men's toilets? Oh, women's. Yeah, baby crying? Birth? No, not... It must be because of the crack in the mirror. But you can see an illusion of a strange man in the reflection. Probably just an effect of your antidepressant. If... Okay. So if you're feeling that... For, because of your antidepressants... Talk to your doctor, please. What the fuck? A little goblin child. The unlucky girl, my Xavier, the gluttonous prince. As the prince chewed with his mouth full, he spoke to her. <laughs> Did you hear the news? Did I, Walt? The witches must love to clean. They always carry brooms, right? That witch over there has only got rags, though. Well, you should clean up like they do, or else spooky things will come and do it. don't like his did you hear the news like d d no no I hate that fucking devil child could it be because it's cracked for a moment the reflection in the mirror looked like an old orphanage Welcome back. The unlucky girl met Martha, the queen of cleaning. The queen glared at Jennifer as if she were filthier than dirt itself. Filthy wretch. Oh, the other adult said that. Ooh. You want to wean off drugs altogether, but you'll go through withdrawal. So this game's- oh, this game's really fucking weird. Like, who oh boy. The unlucky girl met Thomas, the mischievous prince. The prince, who'd been busy with his antics, finally stopped and spoke to the girl. A new girl! A new girl! Not for ye, you fuck. I'll show you some of these. Wax on. Wax on. Wax on. What's she like? Hold on. I want to see, is there anything of import over here? Not that I can see. Yeah, what a rude bitch. What an old bat. Oh, dear. I'm a little stumped. Because I remember there being... Oh, that's a... Hold on. Let me, let me see that again. That's a really good PS2 shadow. Only this wall seems to be made of cloth. So we'll have to make note of that. Sector 10, crew cabin. Yeah, seriously though, like, I love Roll of Rose. I can kind of, I'm kind of starting to remember why a lot of people I know dropped it early. Cause it's like, wait, wait, this game does start really slow. Jennifer only understood half of Miyaki-san's lesson when she, tur she turned off the karate cut half like. 
I mean, once she gets a fork, she's unstoppable. I'm actually curious, too. Do I have strafe buttons? I do not. Damn. Alright, now, I do have strafe. It's just... not what you'd think. That's fine. So I can't turn. Okay, that's fine. So I think we are on a quest for scissors. Something about- Wait, no! I remember where we're going! Okay, if we go here... Jennifer also somehow can obtain the Karate Kid like 55 years before it was made. Maybe that's why she's so bad at it. Hold on. Oh! We could've made that so much- wait, no. What does that child want? It's just outside of our reach. But like, genuinely where the fuck- Okay, I do want a hint. As for clues, if memory serves me correctly, you are in search of a butterfly. A butterfly you are in search of. The green is the one you wish to follow. Offer the butterfly to the aristocrats. That's your only clue. Scissors? Like a scissor man? Scissorman! Anyways. God. For, uh... For a let's play of Rule of Rose, we are making a lot of Clock Tower talk. Not that I mind. Clock Tower fucking rules as a series, and honestly, if it wasn't this, I would probably have considered playing Clock Tower 3. Clock, ta Clock Tower 3 is nuts, by the way. Like, I fucking love those games. A lot. You only know them from the story mode, YouTube? What's that? Wait, hold on. Hold on, I think I remember something I actually missed. Because I meant... to read... you. Place all the waste paper in the rubbish bin. Take laundry to the filth room. Headmaster. The fact that they call it the filth room. Also, like, not alarm bells in my mind, but like, oh, this is the sort of society we're in. We're not only are we speaking or, like fucking 18th century aristocrat or not 18th century, 19th century aristocrats. We're acting like them, too. Okay, I'm gonna be real. This music is actually lulling me a little bit. It's very calming. I- I love it. It's 1am. It is- Whoop. It's late around here. You're gonna look up the soundtrack and play it to sleep. There are some... I mean, I will admit, there are some, uh, more intense tracks. the baby crying at this point. What does this say? The Cloverfield. Not just Deletus, their classes. Yes! Guest room hall. Oh! Why are you crying like a baby? You're like 12! Did yours die? The unlucky girl met Olivia, the tearful princess. As the princess cried on, the girl gathered her courage and spoke to her. 
tearful princess just cried on and on. She's probably not 12. The green butterfly is on the ground. Take it. Yeah! Yeah! Yo, what the fuck? You deserve to be gobbled up. What? I think you're like 14 and she's like, Oh no, I know this game. Your, your uh, main character is 19. A fork with sharp prongs. About equipping items. Some items can be equipped as weapons. Just check and see if the equip option is available when you select the item from the menu screen. She what? Yeah, she's 19. It's a dead green butterfly. Its wings are tattered and mostly fallen off. Found the green butterfly. Okay, so this fork, first weapon. Let's look at it. Sharper prongs than a normal fork. All right, let's see our combo. Yeah, like, Jennifer does not want to fight. Found the copper leaf. It's shaped like a leaf. Could it be part of something else? Okay, I won't be real. That looks like a scrotum. Three leaf clover. Uh, let's see, cause that's a two leaf clover. I have a copper leaf. Can I use it here? Nothing happened. Two leaf clover. Uh, maybe I have to find something. Three irises. Turn the blue one. Oh! Oh, we have this. The one leaf clover. And we'll try to open it up and it'll be locked. But then... Is this actually a horror game or just an offbeat puzzle game? Both! Survival horror, baby! PS2 era as well, so it's the best era of survival horror. I kind of hate being a boomer elitist with that sort of thing, but like... Goddamn, do they not make survival horror games like the PS2 anymore. Now, it does lull you into a sense of security on, like, hold on, is this just a weird puzzle game? But no. No, it is... It is survival horror as much as Silent Hill was. Okay, can we actually... No, we cannot use. Can we, can we use it here? Nothing happened. Okay, so we still need to find a way to get those scissors down, which that's still my personal objective. These are the kind of people that hate you. Yeah, yeah, they are. They are Lovecraft children. I will dub that sort of child a Lovecraft child. Actually, hold on. Before we engage the devil children... We should save, now that we actually have a weapon. Also, uh, funny cat. My, my favorite thing I've ever heard was, uh, I was watching, so, one of my favorite content creators, and it should be obvious at this point, uh, he goes by Wooly Versus on YouTube, uh, and Twitch. I think you can actually, uh, if you go to Suggested Streamers, because I haven't updated my Suggested Streamers list in a while, uh, I think he's still there. Um, he has a show called Race Wars, where he plays racing games. Uh, and he's talking, he's talking with his friends about Garfield Kart. Hey, yo, you want to play some Garfield Kart? Oh, shit, I forgot they actually look kind of Rubber Johnny-y. 
Sometimes enemies will jump out and impede Jennifer's progress. Hold R1 down to ready for combat and press the X button to attack. This will inflict greater damage if you have a weapon equipped. Um, but uh, in the Garfield card episode, the, uh, HP Lovecraft's name comes up, and he just go, and Wooly just goes, you know, HP Lovecraft had a cat. Do you want to guess what his name is? And his co-host is like, uh, no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't know what his name is. And Wooly just pauses and goes, well, it wasn't Garfield. That was a fucking Fury 7. They had a goddamn race they called Race Wars. That's great. All right, yeah. So basic shit. So. Kill that child. Stab that child. Kick the shit out of him. I forgot how good the fork was. That fucks me up. I forgot about the race wars in Furious 7. The child reading aloud can be heard faintly. The unlucky girl listened. I mean... Oh. Oh. Cast is 70% POC and no one picked up on that. Or they did. Or they did. And no one stopped anyone. Because that's too fucking funny. Make an offering. Green butterfly, yes. <laughs> is that a good offering? How do I know if it is? The gift box store said to the unlucky girl, You call this a beautiful butterfly? Are you blind? Give me a beautiful, beautiful butterfly, and then you shall be invited to join the aristocrat club. <laughs> oh. I think we should steal from the library. We should rent a book and never return it. Devil children. Hold on. Jennifer found the one leaf key. Ow! Ow! Oh, we've already got... Can we... Really? Key shaped like a one leaf clover. Can we you... Okay, so that's not how that works, apparently. Alright, so we'll have to go back. They send you a bill. You never have to- it's like medical bills. You never have to pay it. I mean, just saying. You're never forced to pay your medical bill. What are they gonna do? Tell you to pay it? Maybe a little more aggressively? Just tell them to fuck off. Okay. You heard it here first. If someone is trying to tell you, hey, give me my money, tell them, fuck off. That's the advice of the day from the MB Cabaret. That's, I give big good advice. And it's advice like, don't pay your hospital bills because they're extorting you. Anyways, why give in? Hmm. I was hoping, but no. Also, what did they give me? Oh, they gave the green butterfly back. Yeah, okay. Now, jokes a shot aside, you should give your library card, or, uh, library things back. 
fight the bill and nine times out of ten they'll fuck off. I just, okay, so like, I had a dental bill that was like, it, insurance company is like, we'll cover it 100%. And they did. And the dentist, and like the dentist uh, surgeon, dental surgeon, was like, yeah, but we're going to be, we're going to keep billing you for $200. And I just kept, I just keep ignoring it. And it has now been three years. I have not gotten a letter in, I want to say, three months? Or not three months, but like six months? Maybe like eight? In front of the unlucky girl stood a man in a brown coat she had never seen before. The man quietly handed her a storybook. The Cloverfield. Oh. Once upon a time, there was an unlucky girl. All she wanted was to be happy, so she went to a clover field. She found a one-leaf clover, but she dropped it on the road. She found a two-leaf clover, but it slipped into the shadows. She found a three-leaf clover, but a witch hid it away. She wanted to find a four-leaf clover, but she was too unlucky. I like that the storybooks are very obviously, like, made by children. Like, the tiny, tiny children. I don't know. Something like that. Or something about that is just, like, a very nice, very nice thing. A nice touch. That's the word I was looking for. As I said, heat stroke melts your brain. Wonder, is that kid's body still there? No. Meaning that devil child may still be here. One day it's just waiting with a pair of pliers to repo them chompers with interest. Okay, but it was for removal. button press the switch this music perfect it really does it really does perfectly loop i i love it hey we found the scissors please don't go back up you might have to leave because this oh no please don't i need your money i mean attention Various broadcast equipment set up here. The first whose voice you heard must have been using this. It's so dark inside the locker, you can't tell how deep it is. The distinct smell of cleaning supplies is present. You only know how to make a martini and a KG beast? Martinis are really good. I could go for a martini right now. I could smash a fucking white Russian. I'm gonna be real, though. Or, like, a white Russian wouldn't be bad. Um, honestly, can't go wrong with a cabin and coat. Cuba Libres are really good. Like, almost upsettingly good. As the unlucky girl examined the scissors, they suddenly spoke. No thanks necessary. No thanks necessary. You must have been better off being bound than being than being free to feel pain. So scary. You guess why extension rum and coke? Yeah, the scissors that cut rope. They're rather rusty. Jennifer found the rusty scissors. We get to free the dog. Which I know the name of, but y'all don't. Y'all are gonna meet the real MVP of the LP. Because would you believe me that having a dog companion has cool features? Tetanus, ain't that your ears ringing? Anyways, enough making me look stupid. 
I'm here to set you free. With rusty scissors. I'm gonna feel bad about how the heat might fall. Oh, we don't see it. The unlucky girl cut the ropes with scissors and freed the dog. Free from the captivity, the dog seemed quite happy. However, the dog stood there and wouldn't move. He looked up at the girl as if wanting something? Waiting for her reaction? Okay. Um, I can give you the dog collar. Okay, if I had a laugh track on the stream, that'd be a fucking nightmare, but it would never be used. So, really, who cares? Brown. Yeah, the dog is named Brown. Brown! I remember on Tumblr there being a really good ask blog based on this, um... Giving, com giving commands to Brown. Command, uh, which, come. Press the circle button and order Brown to come to Jennifer. Stay with X. Okay. Find Brown. Find Brown can track items fo by following their scent. Have Brown track an item by smelling the box on the shelf for starters. So... Dead ass. Biscuit tin. Uh, to use the flying command, open the menu screen, select the appropriate item, then press, uh, and then close the menu screen, press the triangle button. During this tutorial, the biscuit tin cannot be dropped. Okay, um, fine. Go! So, we tell Brown to go find biscuits, because the biscuit tin leads you to items. When find is used correctly, you'll discover hidden items like this. So some some items only Brown can understand the significance of and find. And we found a biscuit. Biscuit has been found. N we now know that the scent of a biscuit tin is linked to a biscuit. Yep, posture check. Ooh. When you select the biscuit tin from the menu screen, you'll see biscuit listed under fine target there might be more biscuits nearby press triangle and use find again Go. so we tell brown to find shit and then he just does he found the biscuit as long as hidden items are nearby you can continue to use the find command press triangle again to find another item It seems like there are no other items in the area that can be found with the biscuit tin. If Brown can't find anything, you'll be able to tell by his gestures. Also, if a search fails in one area, try another. Keep an eye on the find target list as well as Brown's gestures. This concludes the find tutorial. So yeah, now we have the real the real game starts now. About an hour and ten minutes of gameplay. That's not bad. The way Jennifer just yells, Go! Yes! Go! Okay. No biscuits in here. But it's like having a command where it's like, Okay, well how can a dog be useful in a survival horror game? We can have the dog look for shit. And maybe, just maybe, it's hidden shit. Like a biscuit. Small bones? Hold on, what? Let's look at that. Small bone, rich in calcium, just what a canine needs. Uh, let's put find. Nothing in here. Dog pulls out a gun. Okay. You're joking. But that does happen. That is a thing in this game. Go. Ginger, no. Go. 
that's a cool way to indicate this is where the biscuits are. Oh, that's awesome! I, I genuinely forgot how much I love this game. But yeah, so, I shit you not, Jennifer found a ribbon. Go! Um, what do ribbons do? A lovely ribbon. Maybe we can use it for bribes. So, you there's a side quest involving finding a pistol in this game. And if you select find as the command linked to the pistol, I shit you not. I shit you not. If you have the dog sniff the gun, it will find ammo. It is the coolest shit. The gun is, is, to my memory, not very good. But it's a ranged option. So it's not that bad either. full please drop something uh I mean I'll drop the ribbon for now yes because I don't know what use the ribbon's gonna have we found bacon Go! so yeah fuck finding the butterfly although uh that is what we should be doing uh we gotta find whatever the fuck we need. Let's just make sure. Bacon is a dog item, right? Juicy bacon, though. Make a dog drool. Okay. Oh, God. It's such a good dog. It's such a good dog mechanic. God, that was a lot creepier when I didn't realize what what she was. Her face looked like static, and it made me just, like, stare for a couple seconds. Floor bacon? Dogs don't care. We're gonna see you. The unlucky girl met Eleanor. The princess is cold as ice. Inside the acrid room, the princess shot an icy glare and said, Yes, she is a pet. Oh. How about I give you one of these? And one of these? And one of these? If you don't like the idea of me stabbing children with a fork, this is not the LP for you. Floor bacon? Nah, more bacon. See? Exactly. You got it. Just, like, ah, I love mechanics like this in games where it's just like, here's, you got a dog companion? All right. Here's what dogs can do in real life. Here is now a video game around the dog in real life. Or at least what dogs are known for. Which makes me think that Brown may have actually been a search and rescue dog, possibly, at one point. But I don't think they use that breed for search and rescue. Granted, I guess a dog is a dog at the end of the day. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, I love you. You're such a good boy. Okay. So let's use the copper leaf to see what it does. I'm going to assume it's going to lead us to finding more keys. Hold on. Okay, so stay. Come. Go. I can't tell what Brown's Bree is supposed to be. I mean, like, it would fit with the theming. 
if he were straight up a mutt. And therefore not any one dog. Because, like, if it's the poor helping the poor, then, yeah. You know? Because, like, you know? Like, poor, poor Mutt can claim no one lineage, something like that. And therefore is, like, maybe, perhaps, in the eyes of the terrible bourgeois, like, oh, that is, oh, Jesus, fuck. Okay, I was trying to dissect some possible social meanings, Hol but, but here we go, here we go. It is always weird talking about, like, genuinely terrible, like, things, but, like, in an analytical way. Because it's, like, I'm trying to be, like, nah, but, like, the ruling class thinking, like, ah, yes, the easy to oppress. What? Oh, because that's a loading hole. Like, what I'm saying makes sense, right? We have the key to that. Do we have to... Oh, we have to use the key manually. Okay. That's fine. That's fine, but now... Now I know. Nothing happened. Oh, because I'm not looking at the door. That is silly. Also, like, true to dogs... Brown's just a good boy. End of the day. Hey, you little one. Unlucky girl met Nicholas, the sloppy prince. With a look of annoyance, the prince clicked his tongue and mumbled at her. Why you? Go away. Go what the away. fuck is up with your feet? I'm a shadow. A shadow. Huh. All dogs are good ones? I don't know. There are some dogs where I'm like, hmm. Like, I don't know. Pretty sure Hitler had a dog. Granted, we don't know what that dog was thinking. Did he? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty certain he had a dog. Either way, I know that they had dogs in the military at the time. And Nazi dogs do not go to doggy heaven. They do not. A key with a single leaf. It seems to be incomplete. Oop. Am I gonna have to Google Hitler's dog? You may as well. Alright. One leaf key became the two leaf key. Thanks, Brown. Cause like, this isn't me bullshitting. I'm actually pretty sure that Hitler had a dog. But if he didn't, who boy do I look stupid. get an airship map, I'm just gonna assume that these doors are locked. Um, bare minimum, if, if dogs were not active serving military members at the time of WW, um, there are still those Wolfenstein dogs. And they are not good boys, and do not go to doggy heaven. Sivy is correct. Still love the uh, Gianni clip from that episode. 
Oh, it's way too dark in here. No, thank you. No, thank you. Ah, that gets me a little bit every time. Because it's like, ah, sure, okay. It's Because it's just enough for my brain to be like, ah, yes, I can go. And then it's the game telling you, you cannot go. Uh, let's walk around this area first a little. Are there any biscuits in here? Biscuits. Go. Go. Whoop. He did have a dog named Blondie. He loved them and they tested a cyanide capsule. Oh, oh, come on. Hitler, you can't have one thing go going for you. Oh, oh, that's a sound clip now. Oh, no. But I'm not crazy. He did have a dog. Is that a knife? A paring knife. Is it a real knife? Can we actually use it? We can equip a knife. We can equip a knife and it's stabby. I have never been so disappointed in Hitler, and I already hated him. I thought, maybe, just maybe, there was one redeeming thing. Maybe he really loved his dog. No. Ladies and gentlemen, and anything in between or beyond, fuck Hitler. Wait, no, don't overwrite. I'm rotating my saves wrong. Either way, um... So, I did want this stream to be a little shorter. She was a German Shepherd and had puppies. Yeah, but, you know. Um, but yeah, so that's Rule of Rose. For now. Um, let me just... Dut... And dot. But that's Rule of Rose for the night. Uh, I wanted this to be a shorter stream. Just for the sake of, like... He was apparently inconsolable after she died. No, you don't... Yeah, you don't poison your dog and then be sad about it when you deliberately poison your dog. Nah, nah. Either way, um... Who's up? Who's up? Um... Latch it. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Extra special. Yeah, exactly. You get me. So, either way. Um... If you had a good time tonight, uh... Thank you if you stuck around for all this. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for letting me get back into the swing of streaming. Especially at the end of Spooky Month. I at least... I at least get to... Have a special... Spooky game that I actually give a shit about. Um... I feel like the well is actually a little dry with what I currently own. Aside from... Rule of Rose. So, yeah. Um... If you'd like to support the channel, there are links below wherever you're watching this to things like the Streamlabs donation link and the community Discord server. Um, there are also bits and subscription if you are on Twitch. I, uh, I have verified, by the way, that the YouTube archive is back up and running. Uh, the export issues were literally just for, like, a week. It's all good now. Um, but yeah, so... That's all I have for the night. Uh, I may 
say fuck it with my current schedule because I do really want to keep playing Rule of Rose. Uh, and if I have the spoons, do things uh, gorilla style. Either way, have a good rest of your night. Thank you. Fuck Hitler.